We can work this out easy. Yeah. Katie did the first trial in here, didn't she? And she got 10. After wait, Katie wait, said wait, 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 let her talk, please. One at a time. No, Go. Katie got 10, didn't she? And then the next person to do the trial was it you and Rodney, and you got two. Oh, am I wrong? No, we got... Because you got three, but you dropped one, he said, didn't you? Yeah, it was two. two. It, it was, was two. two. It was two. Then a trial after used two. Was that? It was very difficult to do because we had to remember who did what trial and how many stars they got. And when you were with no space of time, we didn't even know what date it was, it was really difficult for us to all think back. Right. What about the ostriches? The ostriches were... We need she to, drop I one, think we should figure out Lynn how many trials have been done. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. trying to think, please. How many trials have been done and then just go Lynn and I, and try and on the ostrich. Name all the trials and who We did didn't it. get them all. Didn't we get nine? And then we can yeah. try it. We got nine? Then we can try and do it. Because this we one. still got the pen. Nine? From yesterday. Nine? Yes. Wait a minute. Can you add the nine to that? Where is the pen? Can you please add nine to that? 59, 68. The more we tried to help Janice out by asking her to remember and sit down, the more kind of offended she got. I think she takes nine. things personally, which no one means anything to it, but Janice took it the wrong way and got a bit defensive and said she was going for a shower and for us to sort it ourselves. All right, you have my count. So we've got seven. I'm taking a shower. So what should I do? Of course, darling. Because I'm in a foul-ass mood. Thirty-six. <sighs> I think it's 83. Let's go. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. Wish it to happen. Please say right answer. Please say it's right, it's right, it's right. Whoa! Oh, no! Shit. Oh, no! Oh, no! <gasps> what could be a one? Chocolate coins! What? Chocolate. Oh, we've got a camera, we though. Chocolate. We've got a Polaroid camera. What does it say it would have been, chocolate though? Coins. Chocolate coins. <sighs> I knew... I'm chocolate. Somewhere along the line. I can't believe that. So, uh, we blew it. We blew it by about five or six stars, I think. And they were Janice's that were wrong. Oh, my God. Chocolate coins come in white chocolate as well. Oh, right. As well as dark chocolate. How many of these I was devastated not to get the chocolate. Literally, my stomach, my heart, everything sank. And I went into a really foul mood for about 20 minutes, half an hour. What a bummer. I think they didn't get that many in the ostriches. No, or no. The I don't think they did. Or the bugs. Are we just being horrid and blaming them? No, I think no, that. Because everyone else, is, everyone everyone else, else is knows what it was. What they got. That one was the only questionable one. She has done nine, though. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. yeah. For her age. Ah, <laughs> 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 the sweet taste of failure. Mmm, mm, can't wait to see what they get wrong tomorrow. Uh -huh. But they did get a Polaroid camera to play with. That's true. Yeah. Doesn't taste as good as these, though. Nah, lush. Now, recently our celebrities have settled into a morning routine. Wake up with that familiar feeling in their stomach, then spend two uncomfortable hours sitting down before, before walking away from the log with a huge sense of relief. That would be all the right. No, no. <laughs> I was talking about the vote offs. Huh? Every morning we wake up now that the evictions have started and we all get ready and we all sit on the logs. And we're there for like two hours waiting. And we think, why are we here? We haven't even been called to the logs yet, but we're seriously, we're like trained dogs or something. Janice gets her breasts out. There they are, there they are. Just before Ant and Deck come in, she reveals her magnificent cleavage to the nation. Whenever there's an obvious camera moment, i.e. Ant and Deck coming in, Janice plays it to the full. The public have decided... ..it's not you. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man! Ooh, Janice says the same thing. Oh, man! Oh, hang on. Oh, man! Was that anything like her? <laughs> Jay. Hello. The public have decided... Get ready. It's not you. Thank you. Oh, man! As soon as my name's mentioned, so I know the camera's on me, I have two little things. I sort of do that on my ear and I do that on my forehead. It's basically a sign to say, 
I'm still loving it and uh, not to worry. My fella brought me my necklace, so we said if ever I was missing him, I had to do this. My sister said, when you're missing us, do that. No, my God, I'm not that sophisticated. No, I'm sorry. I have no signs at all. Biggins, it might be you. Really, I think all our hearts are thumping a bit, and we have to go through all the pain of it might be you. Actually, I noticed yesterday in camp, you doing that, you making a sign, you, huh? you were doing that. Is that to tell all your friends and family back home everything's fine, everything's groovy? Is that what you were doing? Is that <laughs> right? I knit your nose. Oh. Uh, the phone lines are about to close. Here are all the numbers you're going to yeah. need. Farada! Dial 099 double one, 32 32 or 01. Keris is 02. Gemma's 03. 04 for J. Janice is 05. And Biggins is 12. Calls cost 50 pence from a BT landline. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Lines close after this next break. Votes cast after that time will not be counted but may still be charged. OK, now that camp has been occupied for some time now, and frankly, it's in a right old state. Oh, there's scraps of rotten food, damp clothes everywhere, the whole place stinks. I mean, what kind of people would live in a place like that? Apart from students? Apart from students. Celebrities. It is a problem and, and, and difficult to keep the camp clean, and I think everybody does their bit. We all chip in to try and keep the camp clean. I wash up the pots after we've finished with them. Janice does a little sweep round. So everyone is trying, you know, the best. I keep the camp clean. I am the cleaner of the laundry. I am the cleaner of the floor. It's not easy to keep your camp clean. There's sort of clothes hanging everywhere. And then we have a bit of a tidy up and clear the stuff out. And then it looks tidy. And then within five minutes, it looks messy again. It's an enormously difficult place to keep clean, and I think everyone's very aware that we don't want to bring rats into our camp. I saw rats under people's beds. I've seen cockroaches. We've got fly after fly after fly, completely infested, and now rats. We have to dry our clothes over the fire. You're sort of washing your clothes to get them clean, and then you just put them on smelling like a bonfire, but they smell better than if you just kept them grubby. Smell of a mixture of B.O., smoke. As you can imagine, I smell amazing. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I keep a tidy home. I, I now keep a tidy jungle. It's killing me! Coming up, is Janice getting the cold shoulder? I'm not liked here, so... And you choose which celebrity must leave the jungle. Do you want the chance to win £10,000? If so, watch this classic I'm a Celebrity moment. Yeah, all right, that's my head. Can you identify which celebrity found himself bottom of the pecking order? Ah! Hey! That ain't funny. If you know which celebrity was being pecked, then call 09012 930 930. Calls cost one pound from BT landlines. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Text your answer to 83000. Text cost one pound plus one standard network rate reply message. Digital satellite and cable viewers, press your red button now. Or enter online for free at itv.com forward slash celebrity. Infants must be 18 or over and lines close at 10 a.m. on Saturday the 1st of December. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Now, being in the jungle means the group are completely cut off from civilization, so they've got no idea about all the important news stories. Well, you, you mean like Gordon Brown's newly announced long-term plans? Or, or, or the uh, proposed strike by the DWP? Or the, the British Retail Consortium's Christmas forecast, perhaps? No. <laughs> I meant the really important stuff, like... Crocodile for dinner, <laughs> or... May the breast girl win. Oh, the big stories. Yeah. The important stories. The important I stuff. See. Well, last night the group finally had a chance to catch up with their favourite news story themselves. Celebrities, please get into two teams of three. Well, you three and us three. Mm-hmm. Is that all right? Yeah. Cool.